Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyS2Root.com and uh, I've got an updated overview of the Thunderbolt ROM version 2. The new version comes with four or five different launchers. I installed all of them. Um, you'll have the options to install the ones you want, um, but also you can install all of them. Use like an app like Launcher Switcher like here I'm doing. And uh, the one default is the Jelly Bean Launcher. This is the default Jelly Bean Launcher. And uh, if you want to switch it, go ahead and run um, Home Switcher app or Launcher Switcher or any of your switcher favorite switcher apps. I know there's a bunch of them out there. And go ahead and hit X and uh, clear defaults. And if you hit Home button, um, you get all the launcher launch hers. So it does come with the TouchWiz UX, the one used on the Galaxy S3, uh, Xperia, and uh, let me just show you all of them real quick in case you you haven't seen this. This is the uh, TouchWiz UX Nova Launcher. Um, I prefer Nova Launcher and Apex over the stock Jelly Bean because it's it's a lot more options. You can you know do stuff like that. Um, also the Apex Launcher, those two are very very similar. Also these launchers you can actually install on any ICS Jelly Bean ROM off the Play Store if you want to. Um, just if you're wondering. And also Xperia. This one you can't just install it. The ROM has to come with the support for it. Um, this one's a little bit iffy. So the developer uh, Al Hussein Muhammad, uh, he told us not to use it until version three. So go ahead and try some of the other launchers. My favorite is the Apex launcher. So let me use that. And uh, you do get standard AOKP stuff. Um, the the good thing with this ROM is that you do get the best of AOKP, um, you know, even the even the uh, TouchWiz launchers. So it's kind of a cross hybrid ROM, and you get all these all the features. Um, you can get show notification count. So this is kind of useful. Um, so when you go to when you go see your e Gmail, you'll see the count. But uh, it will not work if you're not running a TouchWiz launcher. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch back. Here we go clear defaults and I'll switch it back to um, TouchWiz real quick here and now you'll see that I've got almost 30,000 messages um, so that notification is kinda cool for TouchWiz um, I think it works on TouchWiz anyway let's go back to settings and uh, more ROM control stuff lock screen stuff this is kinda fun um, you know weather calendar sources and uh, that will show your calendar in the lock screen if you want. I haven't said it, but it does. And uh, you know what? The launcher is... Uh, yeah. Anyway, you can mess with that. Power menu, screenshots, navigation bar, toggles. Um, navigation bar, you can add you know, soft keys. You know, If you have a friend um, who has a hard time pressing the physical buttons. And uh, battery, battery bar, all this stuff you can you know, I'm not gonna go over it since I went over it like a thousand times before. Um, sound, weather, all right, and uh, performance. You mess with the performance. It runs a SIA kernel, so you can overclock up to 1.6 gigahertz, and also you can dual boot your phone with ICS and Jelly Bean. Uh, but very fast ROM, very similar to Resurrection ROM, uh, Revolt Jelly Bean ROM, and also. Um, root box ROM. Those are all great ROMs. It also comes with Awesome Beats, Dolby Mobile for those of you sound heads, um, Apollo Music Player, and uh, PlayStation app. A lot of the Xperia apps. Um, I think these work just fine. Walkman app if you need it. Power saver if you want to save power. Um, let's say you walk outside of your house, you want to turn off Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth um, without doing it manually make sure these oops these are on like that and uh, also maybe you can turn off all of these stuff then you can simply run the power cyber app and you know push it on and that will save you power without you know um, the way default default system works is that there's um, there's a, a way to save power but it will underclock your phone but this will allow you to do it without underclocking your phone um, just turning off all the different things, kind of very useful, and actually, I, th I think I'm gonna um, use it often. Anyway, check out this ROM. Let me know what you think. Uh, Thunderbolt ROM version two and version three should be coming out soon. 
very solid ROM and I uh, have a ton more ROM reviews coming so stay tuned to my new YouTube channel here Galaxy S2 Roots and uh, if you have a Galaxy S2 as always don't forget to sign up for my email list at um, GalaxyS2Root.com we update you once a week with ROM of the week tips hacks and more and also is a great way for you to get in contact with me and others if you have trouble with your phone and if you're on YouTube please hit that like button for me here and subscribe button up there and uh, stay high on Android folks and see y'all later yeah